Welcome to my mini farm. Where I live in the country, I'm so lucky to be able to have an awesome hydroponic garden and loving animals that I raise. I just love my animals. They are a huge part of my family's life. Every morning I can't wait to see how many eggs I can gather up, how many vegetables and herbs I can pick. With my family's favorite recipes and my home cooking skills, I enjoy sharing what I've learned over the years with you. I'm also part of iFood.TV Networks. New shows every Wednesday. So welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today I'm going to show you one of my family's favorite recipes. So let's get started. Today what I'm going to show you is how I make empanadas. So the first thing that I started out with is I have my oven set at 350. I have one purple onion. You could use a white onion if you'd like. I'll be dicing that along with a couple of cloves of garlic. I'll saute that in a pan. Once that's sauteed, then I'll add in two pounds of ground beef. So I'll just take my onion and dice it. I have about two tablespoons of olive oil in my frying pan. I have my frying pan on medium high. So now I'll take my onions and place them in my frying pan. I have five garlic cloves. I'll dice up these garlic cloves and place them in the frying pan with my onion. These empanadas are really, really good. Now I'll place my garlic in. Just stir it around. It smells good already. I also boiled two eggs. So I have two hard boiled eggs that I'll be dicing up and adding into this mixture. I have the eggs cooled and then I'll peel them. Sauteed, I lowered my heat and I'll place in my hamburger. Now I'll let my beef brown. Now that my beef is all browned, I'll add in one cup of beef broth. I'll let this reduce. So I'll just keep this on simmer. Smells good. To my beef that I browned, I boiled two potatoes and I'm dicing them up small. I'll place them in my bowl. Along with my potatoes, I boiled two eggs. 
So I have two hard boiled eggs that I'll also dice up and place them in with my potatoes. So there's my two whole potatoes. Now I'll dice up my eggs. And there's the second egg. So I have my two boiled potatoes that I diced and my two hard boiled eggs that I also diced. I'll place this off to the side and then once the liquid has reduced a little bit in the beef, then I'll add that. I'll fold the potatoes and the eggs into the beef mixture. So I'll just mix this around and wait for the liquid to reduce a little bit. really smells good in here and that's when I'll fold in the potatoes and the eggs it's looking good a few more minutes now that my liquid reduced I turned off my burner I'll take this off the stove Now I'll take my hamburger, fold it into my eggs and potatoes. And that's what it looks like. Now for my dough, I'm using the Pillsbury Grands. So I'm cheating a little bit. I'll spray my pan. Put it off to the side. Now with my biscuits, I'll separate them. And what I like to do with them is I'll take the biscuit and flatten it out. So I'm just going to roll it out. Try to make it into a perfect circle. Now I'll take some of the mixture and I'll place it in. And just fold it over. And what I like to do is take the edge of a fork and just kind of press it in to make sure it sticks. And that's what it looks like. So I'll place this on my baking dish and continue on with the rest.
You don't want to overstuff it. So just pinch the top layer into the second layer, the other, and then press down with a fork. You can make your homemade dough for these empanadas, but I just found it easier using the biscuits. Now I'm down to the last one. This recipe will make about 16 empanadas. See how good that looks? Now I'll place it on my baking dish. I have one egg with about a tablespoon of water. And I'll brush it on top. And you'll bake this for about 10 to 15 minutes or until you see the tops of the biscuits turning a light golden brown. Keep an eye on it because ovens vary. So now I'll place it in my oven. And that's all there is to it. My empanadas are ready to come out of the oven. Oh yeah. Look at that. Wow, look at how good they came out. They really smell good. See how nice this came off my baking dish? See how quick and easy this was to make? It really smells awesome in here. So I'll cut it open, show you the inside. Doesn't that look good? They smell awesome. So thanks so much for watching me make my homemade empanadas. Enjoy! Thanks for tuning in to Home Cooking with Cheryl. And please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, Twitter, and especially iFood.tv. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.